All right, I know I've got one up there that works, and it's been a long time since I stepped off a rafter. And now, I'm gonna step this one off just cause I'm gonna show you the process, but either use that one for a template or you start going uh, line length. Anyways, made two steps. So that's for my overhang, even though that's getting ripped because we've got a beam that has to get hidden in here so that that roof line can stay that modern look. And then I know I've got 44 and an eighth of run. So that is actually 12. That is 24 inches of run, so that is 36 inches of run. And then eight is, I'm at 44. Make sure you know which scale you're on. That is an eighth. And that is my plumb line for this guy. Oh, of course, I've got to reduce it. So I've got a ledger up in there. So, and back over here. Oh. There's that beam set. Now, there's a couple different ways I could deal with this tail. Stuff never goes as planned, but I'm gonna leave it long. It gives me a lot of meat to uh, attach the piece on the other side of the beam so I still get my two foot overhang. Of course, I'll have to beef it up for structure because that'll be the weak point, but we will get there.